The Kardashev scale describes three basic levels of advancement, in terms of harvesting energy, through which a civilization should progress. There are three types of civilizations according to the Kardashev scale. Type 1, 2, and 3, and humanity is yet to achieve Type 1 status. Type 2 and Type 3 civilizations have almost god-like abilities to manipulate solar systems and even galaxies. And for a civilization to become Type 2 and Type 3, it needs a longer shelf life in cosmic terms, because it is already known that longer-lived civilizations are the ones we are most likely to detect. Knowing something about their possible evolutionary trajectories could be translated into better search strategies. But, while we try to develop means to find them, what if they have already found us, but hiding from our sight? The universe is 13.8 billion years old. The first human ancestors appeared between 5 million and 7 million years ago. Compared to the universe, we are merely infants. And to think that no other civilization could have emerged before us would be simply foolish. Welcome to You Curious. And today, we will explore the possibility of being watched by advanced beings. Beings who are our cosmic ancestors. Have you ever experienced something surreal? Something out of this world? For a brief second. And then, poof, gone? Did you try to tell your friends and family about it, but they laughed it off? Well, don't worry, because that makes you part of the thousands of other people who have experienced the same. In fact, when the United States Unidentified Aerial Phenomena Task Force tried to identify 144 of these unidentified objects, they were able to pin down only one. One, that's it. They couldn't possibly describe what the remaining objects were, because their aerodynamics were nothing like a man-made carrier. Cut to 2022, and NASA has decided to join the party officially. Yes, the mega alien hunt is now on. The US Space Agency is launching a project that will recruit top scientists to examine unidentified aerial phenomena, or UAPs. This makes you wonder, is the USA hiding secrets about aliens? Or, are the extraterrestrials too intelligent to come under our radar? Carl Sagan once said, the universe is a pretty big place. If it's just us, seems like an awful waste of space. Today, you and I, together, will take a journey and look at a few bizarre, out-of-this-world incidents that point towards only one thing, we are not alone, and we are being watched. Let's start with the Kuiper Belt, a cold, dark and distant space in the outer solar system. It's primarily made up of icy objects, dwarf planets, dust, and comets. So far, over 2,000 Kuiper Belt objects have been catalogued. Researchers believe these are only a tiny fraction of the total number of objects scientists believe are out there. But one thing that fascinated NASA in the Kuiper Belt is the 15810R1. A quick Google search will tell you that Arwen is a Kuiper Belt object, a large rock that orbits round outside the orbit of Neptune. But, is it a rock? In April 2016, NASA's New Horizons spacecraft reached the Kuiper Belt. After capturing its first target, Pluto, the probe turned its sight towards a large object on a strange trajectory. Yes, we are talking about 15810R1, named after the Celtic god of death, war and the other world. Now, why is it so special you ask? Well, most of the objects in the Kuiper belt are made of rock and ice. But R1 doesn't move like any of the catalogued objects in the belt. This has made scientists question if it is made of something completely different, something much stronger, because it's rotating so fast that centrifugal force should have torn it apart. How could something spin so fast and stay intact? Scientists believe that the fast spin is creating artificial gravity, and gravity would be the most vital thing needed for long interstellar travel. You cannot have astronauts floating around the spacecraft while traversing hundreds of light years. This probed the new horizon to take a closer look at the object. And here is when things turned strange. As the probe tried to get a closer look, suddenly, all of its sensors went dead. Transmissions cut off. 
It was as if someone was monitoring our presence, someone or something that did not want us to know about them. But just before losing contact, NASA observed that R1 was spinning like a large spaceship would. Now, you can say that it might have been a technical glitch, but here is when things get crazier. Only when New Horizon moved away from R1, it suddenly came back to life as if nothing had ever happened in the first place. Now, I would leave it to you to assume what it was, but if it's an intelligent alien civilization, it makes complete sense to stay far away from Earth, and silently observe us, from the cold and dark space in the Kuiper Belt. What do you guys have to say? Moving on from R1, to our closest cosmic neighbor, Proxima Centauri. Proxima Centauri is a small, low-mass star, located about 4.25 light-years away from the Sun. It is about 12.5% of the Sun's mass and its average density is about 33 times that of the Sun. By virtue of its low luminosity, Proxima is 500 times less bright than our Sun, and thus cannot be spotted by the naked eye. Proxima Centauri has three known exoplanets, Proxima b, Proxima c and Proxima d. The most interesting of them is Proxima b, that orbits the star at a distance of roughly 7.5 million kilometers with an orbital period of approximately 11.2 Earth days. Its estimated mass is at least 1.17 times that of Earth, and is the only planet in the star system that is thought to be habitable. Now, on April 29, 2019, astronomers detected a signal beaming toward Earth, it seemed, from Proxima Centauri. Because the signal fell into a narrow band of 982 MHz radio waves that are rarely made by human aircraft or satellites, researchers interpreted it as a possible sign of alien technology. However, the signal, which lasted for about five hours, never reappeared during subsequent scans of Proxima Centauri. And since we could not detect it again, we came up with an answer as per our convenience. This is what researchers said after trying to detect the signal again. Potential evidence of extraterrestrial radio signals from Proxima Centauri, the closest star to Earth, were likely just interference from human technology. This signal, even though it was generated by human radio frequency interference, was uniquely similar to the kind of signal we would expect from space. It fooled our algorithms to screen out radio frequency interference, and it took months for us to perform the analysis and gather the data, to understand that it was human-generated. Keep in mind that a signal of interest has never been scrutinized this thoroughly in the history of SETI. My question is, if it was a human interference, then why did it not happen again? The next in our list is a recent event. China has claimed that it may have picked up signals from alien civilizations. Soon after, China deleted the report about the probable discovery. Why? What is it hiding? What we know however, is that, that the signals were detected by Sky Eye, largest radio telescope in the world, located in China's Guizhou province. It has a diameter of 500 meters, 1,640 feet, and it officially launched a search for extraterrestrial life in September 2020. The report said that the team detected two suspicious signals, one in 2020 and the other in 2022. Since the news spread like wildfire, China later released a statement. Here is what it said. The possibility that the suspicious signal is some kind of radio interference is also very high, and it needs to be further confirmed or ruled out. This may be a long process. Well, this statement feels eerily similar to the one they put out about the signals coming from the direction of Proxima Centauri, isn't it? I could go on, and on, about UFO sightings, Area 51, Voyager 1 sending strange radio signals from interstellar space, and the peculiar campfire that the astronauts on board the Apollo 8 saw on the far side of the moon, but it will all fall flat, in the face of evidence. But, I for one believe that we are not alone, and we are being watched by an advanced alien civilization. And hopefully, someday, in our lifetimes, we would make contact. The first contact. What do you guys think? Drop in your comments to let us know, and don't forget to subscribe to You Curious? Your ultimate space for mini-documentaries.